And this is a toy spot on the DC Universe Justice League Unlimited, the fan collection three pack featuring the Cheetah, the Shade, and the Lex Luthor. Yes, not all of them have those, but for the sake of this, there you go. Um, this is a three pack. Um, probably the reason to pick this one up is to get the cheetah, uh, but also serves to get a uh, get yourself a shade. Maybe if you didn't get yourself shade the first time, and uh, finally and also let's not forget the prison outfit Lex Luthor. Um, standard card, standard standard package as the other DC Universe Justice League figures, but on the back. We've got ourselves a read-up. By the way, also, the other figures in this wave. We've got the Flash Question Wonder Woman set. We've got Bruce Wayne, older Bruce Wayne. We've got Batman and Warhawk. We've got Lex Luthor, The Shade, and Cheetah. And finally, we've got Green Lantern, Fire, and Ice. The read-up says, Cheetah and The Shade are two of the first supervillains recruited by Lex Luthor to form the Injustice Gang and oppose the heroes of the Justice League. After Luthor is taken to jail, the group is reorganized by Gorilla Grodd into an even larger and more deadly supervillain team called the Secret Society. I probably had commented before the Injustice League. Eh, oh well, who cares. At any rate, some figures may not stand alone as shown. As Actually, it says at the top there. Boy, that, that, is, that is definitely true. None of these figures really want to stand. But at any rate, that's packaging on the three figures that make up this set. What we're going to do is we're going to get this opened up and we will have a look at the three figures. Stay tuned, guys. If you are a Justice League fan, there is so much more on the way. Stay tuned. And boy, was that package ever right. These figures don't want to stand at all. Well, let's look at the figures that make up this set. Then let's maybe have a look at Cheetah first. She does come with a display stand. She has a, a hole underneath her foot that you can peg her into the display stand. And uh, do hold on to these display stands, because as you know, you collect these. These figures don't stand at all, especially female figures. They don't stand at all. Um, she's a slightly modified version of a female, the standard female body. Um, the, they have changed out the hands to give her, I guess, more a, a claw kind of open hand. They also have changed out her feet to include actual paws. And of course, let's not forget as well, she also comes with a tail. You can have up or you can have down, depending on how happy she is. Um, the body isn't bad. The head is, is pretty good. Now, unfortunately, my head, not my head here, not my head, but the head on Cheetah, as you can see, has a slight bit of paint gooped right at the side there. It's not on all the Cheetah figures, but certainly I always, uh, I always seem to be the one that lucks out and gets the one that has just a little glob of paint. But uh, I can easily overlook that. That's not too big of a deal. Um, the body is pretty good. The head is decent. I really can't say too many bad things about the figure. For what it is as a Justice League figure, it is pretty good. By the way, the articulation on all the figures. Standard swivel in the head. Standard swivel in the arm. We've got, of course, the swiveled leg. Now, granted, this is a female figure, so... The swivel, oh, oh, the swivel will actually not, I mean, really, all it will do is it will let the figure do a splits. It's nothing like the male figures that will actually, you can actually have them sitting in stuff and, and whatnot. And, of course, she's got the swivel tail, as I mentioned before. Not a bad figure, though. Cheetah, I'm going to give her a 7.5. I also like the spots on her as well. A nice added touch. So there you have Cheetah. 
Um, let's go to the shade, which uh, looks pretty good. Unfortunately, being that this isn't the single carded uh, shade, you don't actually get the wand that uh, the single carded came with, which is a bit of a shame. Um, if you collected the single carded shade, the shade came with two variants, well, one figure and then one variant. You had the standard black, and really it is it is up for discussion that in the cartoon, at times, it does look like he's got the gray uh, top. In some scenes, it looks like he's got a darker black. I like the darker black, but the single card, it also came with a lighter gray upper half here as well. So you could go either or. But uh, Shade is good if you didn't pick up Shade the first time around. You didn't get him the first time with the... Ooh, I got a lot of plastic goop underneath his chin here. Mm, that's not good. Anyways, though, um, shade is good if you didn't pick up the individually carded shade. You can definitely get him now in this set. The only downside, of course, as mentioned again, he doesn't have the the wand. Um, shade, I've always liked the look of him in the Justice League cartoon, and the figure looks just like him. You can probably barely make out his face just to the lighting I'm using here, but I'm going to give shade a 8. And finally, let's have a look at Lex Luthor in his prison outfit. Now, sometimes I don't like variants, or repaints at least. Um, just It seems most of the time like it's a simple cash grab. Um, but if I bring in Lex Luthor here, show you guys it is the exact same body. They've just repainted it. I do like the fact, though, that they've given us a prison outfit Luthor. Um, he doesn't have, as I think I mentioned before, that the complexion of Luthor has changed um, with some of the figures. Some of the figures have the lighter color. Some of them have now started going with the darker complexion. But I do like the fact that you've given, you, they give us a prison outfit Luthor. So if you're a kid, you can pretend like Luthor has been apprehended you can put him behind bars if you have an ultra humanite you could put him there next next to him if you have a cell block and your parents made you a really cool prison you could do that as well um but uh, i like the luthor you know for what he is being that he's a repaint he is a at least a repaint that makes sense and for that reason i'm going to give luthor here i'm going to give him a 7.5 so there you guys go there's the three pack that make up the fan collection. Um, I would say the reason to probably get this set is the Cheetah, being that this is the only way you can get a Cheetah from Justice League. And you almost have yourself... I'm trying to think here, I think you have all of the... all of the Injustice gang. I, th off, I, I, think, they're, I think all of them are, are accounted for now. The only one that really technically isn't is the fact that Luthor, we don't have a Luthor in his battle armor, um, unless you consider the, the uh, Superman Lex Luthor 2-pack um, from the original wave of Justice League, but unfortunately it's a taller figure and it's a different head sculpt. Um, but that's about the only thing that's missing. I would say do get this set probably for the Cheetah, but also pretty decent figures on the side as well. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, stay tuned for more toy spots to come. And I will see you guys next time.